And then this one is Dr. Uh, Valerie Hill. Uh, so you all know her as Val Librarian in Second Life, and she's going to speak about authentic information in a virtual world library. Hi there, this is Val Librarian. If you can hear me, if you type it a Y in the text chat, I'm just going to check my voice real quick and make sure that you hear me. Okay, yes, as, as um, she just mentioned, um, I'm Valerie Hill and also Val Librarian in Virtual Worlds. And um, my presentation is on authentic information in a virtual world library. And I'm hoping that I can share a few key elements that will enhance the theme for this year, the Car 2018, Passion for Truth, Trusting Information in the Fake News Era. Uh, first, a little bit about CBL. Uh, many of you have visited the Community Virtual Library and you realize we've been a hub for learning for a decade, and we just moved this year to a new location. Um, our slogan is Real Librarianship in Virtual Worlds. Real librarianship means a passion for accurate, authentic, trustworthy information. And that's those are the core values of librarianship. Um, and they provide you know, as librarians, we're, we get training in just that. These core values can be transferred from the physical world to a virtual world. I believe a virtual world library is the perfect place to teach digital citizenship in our global digital participatory culture. And I like to put it this way, whether or not one has an avatar, we all live in virtual worlds on mobile devices with connectivity across distance, right in our pockets. So I want to just focus quickly on four E's to authenticity in virtual worlds that lead to building trust of information. First, authentic identity, authentic information, collaboration, and digital citizenship. These four elements are essential in building virtual world learning communities. First, we have to be our authentic selves when we're creating an avatar. And then the information we share must be accurate and trustworthy. That first one, authentic identity, I think um, Renee Brock really covered that well. And the authentic, accurate information, I think we heard from Kay earlier how important and critical that is. But only through collaboration can real learning take place in a virtual world because we all have unique skills and talents to share, such as building, designing, scripting, connecting communities. And then finally, digital citizenship cannot be overemphasized as a personal responsibility for trusting information. Because we each are responsible for the information that we both take in daily and the information that we give out. For me, authentic identity online, I think, is critical in today's culture and on social media sites and also in virtual worlds. We can build a personal or a professional learning network when we build trust in who we are. So I personally didn't realize that I was even creating a brand by putting the word librarian in my, my avatar name. But after learning from Zinnia Zalber here, who many of you know is an expert on avatar branding, I realized that I had my purpose right in my name. Of course, that is not necessary. But I think it is necessary to be who you are. And being who you are is really important in a virtual world. I realize some people enter virtual worlds for a variety of purposes. And we all know some avatars who choose to remain anonymous. But after working with those individuals, I think we learn what they're about and what types of virtual world activities they engage in. An example of authentic identity took place at the ACRL Virtual World Interest Group um, session recently on genealogy. We had a librarian from the Kentucky Historical Society, I believe she's prevent, presenting here at Vicara this year, and she shared ways to learn about genealogy literacy in a virtual world. Uh, and this, this really shows how we can be our authentic selves with high quality, authentic information virtually. So subject areas, um, subject experts like this can share information across distance to learners without any travel expenses like we often have when we go uh, away to conferences. Authentic and accurate information can be trusted when specialists and subject experts bring content into a virtual world. 
In February at ACRL, our presentation was on cybersecurity, and internet security experts shared tips and resources. There are other ways that virtual world librarians can help learners find authentic and accurate information through providing peer-reviewed content and through providing a balanced collection that meets the needs of various, various digital citizens, just as librarians would in a physical world. Authentic avatars are those who make their credentials and their skills and their talents known. At the Virtual World's Best Practices in Education Conference this year, in March, I presented from a librarian's perspective along with the Community Virtual Library's graphic designer, and together we illustrated the importance of sharing our unique skill sets as we pool them together to design and build not only our library space, but also the research center that we built this year for the Dickens Project. Real research can be presented virtually when we can trust our authenticity. Creating a professional learning network across the globe makes this possible. So collaboration, collaboration is essential in virtual worlds. The Community Virtual Library strives to build partnerships with affiliates, with different virtual world learning communities like ISTE, many of you know ISTE, um, the ACRL Virtual World Interest Group, the Nonprofit Commons, many other um, learning groups like Virtual Ability, authentic communities. Individuals from many of these groups participated in our Digital Citizenship Exhibit, which was shared last year at Vacara. Digital citizenship, as I said, is essential, and it's key to trusting information. At every grade level, level, we need to learn about digital privacy, security, the valuation of content, which Kay talked about earlier, um, responsibility for our digital footprints, ethical use of technology tools, and respect for intellectual property, just to name some of the elements of digital citizenship. And that's the slide that shows the presentation at our digital citizenship exhibit last year. Well, now we are moving to a digital citizenship museum in Kitely, where which will have even more presentations and elements of digital citizenship. Ways to promote trusting information will be illustrated, including the rights and responsibilities of avatars and artificial intelligence. You can contact me later, or Marie Vans, who's here, and Vans Lappies. She's the uh, curator of the digital citizenship museum in Kitely. Yes, we are expanding, but our home base will continue to be in Second Life in library land, uh, a real library in a virtual world, and our mission statement is as follows. The Community Virtual Library is the hub that connects digital citizens in virtual worlds with the information and resources they see. As I said, virtual worlds provide a sense of a presence which goes beyond web pages and classroom management systems, but connecting people. That's what's key in virtual worlds. And authentic information, both the intake and the output, is a personal responsibility. My bibliography includes some research done with other virtual world educators, such as Brent Knudsen at the University of Hong Kong, Pat Franks, Lori Bell, Rhonda Truman, Renee Amico Brock, Cynthia Cologne, Barbara Truman, Mans, and Elise Donovan an authentic academic community working together helps provide authentic content in virtual worlds. Yes, we're all connected. And we do welcome volunteers at the Community Virtual Library. I just want to close by saying you can contact me later if you're not already connected to the Community Virtual Library. Here's a link to our, our blog. Um, you can join our Second Life Library 2.0 group. And I'll put in the text chat a link to our um, database, which Elise Donovan Jones is the uh, lead curator for that. Um, if you haven't already uh, put your communities and your landmarks in our database, I'll just put a link in there. Thanks a lot.